Good morning, so it's the second day of our Kalahari adventure here at Gregorn. So we are just going to basically fill up, they've arranged fuel for us here. And then we are going to go fill the planes and I'm um, going to go play, I suspect, at Hackskin Pan. Yeah, that pan is absolutely huge. Uh, we're going to go play around there and then um, yeah, we'll see where the day takes us. Okay, on our way to the aircraft to go fuel, pre-flight and get ready for the day. I'm about to cross the road now. Back, I'll be I'll put you on the screen still. Have you got a short? Stop. Have you got me on the ADS B and on? I've got you, Tom, but you still there over here in Greg Warner. That's it, we're just leaving now. On the northern border of the plant, there's a couple of star road crossing the plant here. Yeah. So I'm going to go down low and have a look. The wind is pretty much straight into me here. There's a couple of rocks around. No, the wind is probably about a three, or maybe a zero, one to zero. Alright, uh, planes have landed now, you should be able to see them there, I'll show it to you now, but this pan is huge, you can almost not see anything but pan.
Kalesi som kjøtter Charlie, I'm um, going to roll for uh, another uh, uh, back off. Six doctors back on the ground, we check the back. Stop down. Uh, for runway inspection. 
Okay, I'm coming back to Dragon as well, but uh, if uh, you're up for me, I'm coming back, yeah. So it looks like the windstock is more or less directly on 36, but I'll give another report after landing. Thank you so much. Dragon traffic, as you left Charlie, left and now wind on my 36. So it looks like there's a bit of a crosswind from the right hand side actually. We've got traffic in edge with the solution. Final approach, pretty Okay, so it's a little bit squirrely, there's a crossing from the right. Um, it's about the same as yesterday afternoon, I would say. Okay, thanks. Okay, we're back at Dragon Lodge. The wind was picking up quite a bit. Um, I think we'll go fly in later this afternoon when the wind has dropped a bit and it's not so hot. Um, but yeah. That was super fun. What do you think? Um, yeah, let's see what else we're gonna get up to today. <laughs> He's been playing the dunes. Where make my name cut Let's see how Uber driver is doing. Sean looks a bit sunburned. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Taking a bit of a break here. And wouldn't you say the color is quite green this year? Uh, so it's normally like the color of the sand. But this year, because of the uh, high amount of rainfall, it is very, very green. Comment down below, let me know. Okay, trying to get up the seal, everybody, or most people got off. Here we go. Yeah. 
Yep. That's a flat. <coughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, that was good, really. All right, and so now we're going to do an afternoon flight. I think we're going to Japan. We're going to play around there. It's our last day here, so. Um, yeah, we're going to try to make the most of it. Let's go. Stupan, sir. Check it out from Begon to Stupan. 4.4 miles to the station.
Okay, we are back at Dragon. So that was interesting. Um, I only had my wing cam rolling, so you couldn't hear cockpit audio or anything, but I applied power on the rollout, then um, lifted the tail, and as soon as the tail got up, there was a dip in power. Just for like a mini millisecond, it went down and back up. So I bought it to take off. Um, we think it might be vapor lock. Um, not 100% sure, but we did um, two or three power checks after that and it seemed fine. So I took the cautious approach, um, took off, circled a few times over the pan, so if anything went wrong, so that I can land again. And when I was comfortable, um, we headed back. So that was interesting. Uh, but yeah, um, everything was turned out all right. So now, yeah, this is our last night at Dragon in the Calari. Tomorrow morning, early, we'll be heading back. Um, yeah, so that, I suspect, will be part three of the video. I think I'm going to end this vlog here. See you in the next one.